Hey guys, so I recently picked up some fun things at Walmart and um, the dollar store. My mom's like, you have to get to the Dollar Tree. They have all new things and it's really nice and clean right now even though I live in a different town. So when I went, of course, you know, they're always ahead of what needs to be done. So they, they have all the, you know, Valentine stuff out. But I just wanna show you real quick from Walmart. Um, they have stepped up their cookie cutter game. Oh my gosh, but you know, it's kind of a couple years behind the trend, right? Because people started doing their own cookies a few years back like I was showing you guys. I haven't made any other than gingerbread during uh, Christmas, which seriously whipped up in like 10 minutes. So that's why I'm like, I guess once you got it down, you just do it and it's not a big deal. But um, this is super cute. So it's the cutter and then it has a bunch of little words that you can pop into these little holes. And I think there's only a dollar ninety eight, and all these different words. So with a cookie like this, you would just imprint it and then just go ahead and put it back in the fridge to set up for like 10 or 15 minutes after you roll them out and cut them because you want that to not go away when you bake it, okay? And if you have a good cookie recipe, it shouldn't spread too much anyway. Uh, the one I use is from Brookie's Cookies. Um, I don't remember if she goes by brookiescookies.com or brookiescookiesco, like C-O, like company.com, but you can look at our Brookie's Cookies and she has a ton of recipes and I like her sugar cookie recipes, so definitely check her out. And, um, and then you would go ahead and put them in your fridge, like I said, 10 or 15 minutes, let them chill and then bake them and the word should stay there, kind of like here. I've done reviews on like little, oh, it's gone now, but from my old channel on Daiso cookies that are kind of similar and they, it works just fine. So really cute. Um, and like I said, it was $1.98. These cookie cutters were 98 cents. Now this one's kind of similar to that and it's gonna make this little impression of a small heart. You don't have to, I mean, you know, when you cut it out, it's not like you have to just bake it plain. Well, obviously you bake it, but afterwards you can still decorate or use that little line to help you make the two cookies with your um, royal icing or whatever you want to use. Um, the little uh, rainbow, which I had tons of rainbow cutters, but 98 cents, I was like, okay, I, I need another rainbow cutter, clearly. Clearly I need more. And I think there's another one, yeah. Um, oh, you know what, there's a couple more. Look at this, the XOX with the cute little heart cut out in the center, and then these are gonna cut out the little sides of the O. That's adorable, at least it's gonna push it in. I mean, these things are like, seriously, if you buy these from like these people that make cookie cutters with like 3D printers, they're like five, six, seven bucks each one. Which, of course, you want to support your local companies, and they always have cuter things. They're not, well, they don't have to be local, but, <laughs> you know, people that do their startups. Um, obviously, they have way more than what Walmart has here. And then that freaking um, unicorn. I don't think I ever said freaking on here, but it just made me laugh. <laughs> anyway, I just thought that was so cute, because, like, these cookie cutters are, like, hard to come by, expensive. They have some other sets where it's like a unicorn and a rainbow, but I already had the rainbow or like a shooting star, I think. So check it out because, I mean, it's really awesome pricing. I got some of these lollipops for the kids. I'm a sucker for these lollipops. They're super cute and I know they like that for a dollar, you know, with their little um, Valentine goodie bag. So I'm going to have to hold on to them for like a month now or more. So that's kind of a bummer, but um, they have so much stuff right now. It's like, you might as well get it while it's hot, but at the same time, you have to store it the whole time. These little picks, um, I don't really care about it for being Valentine's. Look at the little unicorns, and they're 98 cents. So I grabbed two packs of those. Super cute. Um, what else do I have here? <clears throat> oh, I grabbed these mostly just to give to my daughter. They're <laughs> little pick-me pops, um, Valentine's. I think they're like 4.98 for all their different Valentine's. She doesn't go to daycare anymore. She wasn't going to daycare. She was going to pre-K, but when I got to this town, the state pre-K is full, the school pre-K is full, and so it's just not going to happen, which I feel really bad for her because she loved going to school, and it was just a nice little, you know, routine for her. So it's a real bummer, and I don't know. I don't even want to talk about it because it makes me upset. So I'm like, you know, she really loved it. So And she still talks about her teacher, which she hasn't seen in two months, you know, and I feel bad about that. So anyway, I got these mostly for her because... Who is she going to give these to? Maybe the neighbor. She has a little neighbor friend. And then um, I got some books from Miranda. I'll just show them to you because they're too cute. A little Hello Kitty coloring activity book. It has some stickers. Pick me to be your Valentine. I figured that goes along with her little pick me stuff. So she loves to be read too, of course. And look at this. Be my sparkly Valentine mini. Oh, how can you not love that? And it comes with stickers, stickers, stickers. And then, of course, a little story. So really cute. Oh, and these little goodie bags. I didn't grab these because they were adorable. <laughs> Look at the little hearts on there. Let me get the stuff from... This is all Walmart. Let me get the stuff from Dollar Tree. 
So I'm pretty sure the ladies at the Dollar Tree must either love me or hate me because I always come through with so much stuff. But this time was actually one of my smaller <laughs> purchases. So I got this heart frame because remember I said I was making my own wreaths. So I got two because I have a double door. And I'm going to try to figure out what I want to do with this. And then I'll try to record it for you guys um, to show you kind of how I do wreaths. Because this one might be different than the other ones that I've been doing. But um, super cool that they have a little heart shape. I got some of these tacky flowers to go with it because I would never use these otherwise. But on wreaths, for some reason, you have to put something on there that's kind of bold and, you know, sticks out. So I like these little hearts and then the roses, of course. So I grabbed two of those, one for each wreath. So I'm not going to go too crazy. Oh, I grabbed these from Miranda. They had these in pink and in red. And I had gotten her some a little headband like this for Christmas that had... Um, they had snowmen, I think they had Santas, and they had like reindeer. I got her the reindeer one, and I totally forgot to bring it out. And then when I was putting things away right now for Christmas, like our Christmas is done, we took down our tree and all that. Um, I came across it, and she's like, oh, and she was like wearing them, and I felt so bad because I didn't think she even cared. She hates wearing things in her hair. So I got her this, and I'm gonna give it to her. I just told her, well, no, I didn't tell her anything about it because I know she's gonna love them. So she's gonna wear those, real cute. I grabbed some goodie bags only because you never know when you need them, these cute pink ones, but they had tons of Valentine ones, of course. Um, oh, this is so cute because my daughter does like doing little crafts and so does Dorian. So this is to make a little love train, I guess. Ooh, that sounds weird. And then um, it comes with five sets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sets. So her little, like I said, my little neighbor likes to do little arts and crafts when they come over. She likes to use my stamps with Miranda. So I thought that'd be cute. I mean, that's really cute for like a school teacher or a class party thing, especially when there's six in there. Little LED bracelet. Let me see if this works. I was curious, it was the last one left. They have some awesome LED stuff right now, but um, oh my gosh, how cute. Can you see that? Well, I know it lit up red, but that is adorable. I'm trying to make it dark so you can kind of see it. That is so cute. Mine's gonna love that. Okay. They're doing so many fun things with LEDs, it's crazy at the Dollar Tree. Tons of ribbon to go along with my um, wreath because you need a lot of ribbon. I got a lot of this stuff because you never know where you want to stick it in there in the wreath. And sometimes what I do is I cover the whole wreath with this stuff first, like a ruffle. And then I add in the other stuff. So I'm going to try to do that with this shape, but I have a feeling for this shape it might not work out because that point at the bottom, you still want it to look like a heart, you know, not just like a big old round circle. I just got these cutouts because why not felt hearts. Um, this got this little book from Randa. She loves books. She loves writing and stuff, and she's so cute. So I grabbed those for her. They had the melty bead kits. I try to get two if I could because, like I said, my little neighbor maybe she'll want to do some. So they have all these different sets, and I think those are the three designs: the heart and the love and the cupcake. LEDs. I grabbed two of them. Look at this with a little heart shape. How adorable are those? You can put these in the wreaths too because they're battery operated. So you stick it in your wreath. Turn it on with battery, you know, with the on and off switch every night or whenever you want to use it. So, really cute. I grabbed the Valentine's pencils. It's kind of a bummer. I was thinking, like, Dorian's getting bigger. He probably doesn't even care about this anymore or maybe doesn't want to bring goodie bags to school. So, um, I had to ask him. But I just grabbed some pens and pencils anyway because I love them. I love that kind of thing. Again, lots of ribbons in different styles, different uh, thicknesses. Uh, what else do I have in here? I got a ton of stuff, you guys know that. I'm just trying to make this a little bit orderly. Um, oh, trays, because I'm almost done with my craft room. I'll show it to you guys. It's still a lot of stuff, but um, I got some different little trays for sorting things. Uh, trays like this, those little cheap, three of them for a dollar, but I have all those pens I've been ordering, so like I need to put those somewhere and I need something like that to sort them into. Um, <laughs> I bought tall kitchen bags there only because I was like, well, I'll try them out. So I bought a pack of vanilla ones. I think there's 12 in a pack and they work really good. You guys, the vanilla scent is still there. It's been sitting in my trash for two days and um, and they're pretty sturdy. So if you ever are in a pinch or if you're thinking about trying those out, you should try them out. But this is just a regular set, regular style. What else do I have? Of course, stickers because we, we love stickers. Sorry about my lighting. It's like really harsh overhead or lighting that comes in, but it's morning time because my kids are asleep and so it has to be the overhead lighting because the sun's not really up yet. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. These are stickers for your windows and now that Miranda has her own little room, I thought she would like to decorate her little windows. So I'm gonna give, look how cute these are. So I'm gonna give these to her. What's a bummer though is that they're stickers, like puffy stickers. So they face you. They're sticky on, you know what I'm saying, on the backside. So if you stick it to your window, you can't stick with this facing out. 
it has to face you. So outside it's going to look kind of crazy, but whatever, I guess. I would rather if that was like those kind of like see-through things. A little more ribbon. Um, last couple things. My kids love all of this stuff. And you know, it's funny because it's hard to find some of these in different stores. So we have the Trolley Evil Twins. We have Haribo Star Mix. We have Haribo Cherries. I buy these every season and they're regular caramel pops because they're super adorable. So this time, of course, they're in a heart shape and I believe they're probably like a cherry flavor. It doesn't say, but I'm sure it is. Sometimes it says. Hmm. Like in Christmas time, they were red and green, but it said on there that they were cherry flavor. And a couple more items for sorting, like little tubs. And then these socks are adorable. Oh my gosh. I tell you, their socks don't bother me unless they have like glitter in them. The glittery ones are the ones that like hurt, oh, they itch or like scratch your feet. So I got two pairs of those for me, little heart donuts. And then I got a pair from Rand, and of course this one does have that glittery, but you know, we'll deal, I guess. But these are really cute because they're tall socks. Usually they're like little short socks that they sell for kids, so adorable. Um, I think that's all I have for you guys right now. I do have a ton of other things to share from like AliExpress, but that's gonna come up later. I wanna see, one thing I'll share for you, with you guys from AliExpress real quick is these little dresses. I showed you guys the last time I bought them. These are from Momo Store, M-O-M-O-E Store. They were $1.81 each, and they're like little Asian dresses, and they are super adorable. Miranda's four years old. I ordered her size five. She can sleep in them. It fits her with a little bit of room to grow, so um, just know that. It does say eight on it. I don't know why, but it was a size five, and it does say size five on the packaging, or, you know, when I ordered it. So really cute. I know I can't pull the whole thing out, but AliExpress, super cute. And um, I'll have some other things for you guys, and I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.